So, in the beginning of the year, in January, I decided to take a leap of faith and attend Milan Art Institute online. The school is originally in Georgia and I did visit there in October of last year and I've had an amazing time and I, I absolutely loved it. So I decided to move forward and invest in myself and focus on art school. I've always wanted to go to art school, but the reason what stopped me was because growing up, you know, family, friends, or just people around you, your peers, telling you, what are you gonna go to art school for? Like, it's just a waste of time. Like, you need to go sell your soul to a corporate world where you make real, actual money, which I did. Money's cool, money's good, don't get me wrong. I love my job at the end of the day, but my soul died. I'm not gonna lie to you. And I didn't know how deeply my soul was dead in corporate world until quarantine happened and I literally just painted every day, sketched every day. And something inside me just told me, just go for it. And it made me feel so alive. And I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. Whatever happens, happens. If nothing happens, then whatever. At least I tried. So I wanted to show you guys my progress on how school has been going. And I really wanted to learn oils, but I just didn't want to do it on my own. Um, I self-taught in acrylics, but oils was just like a different medium. And I just imagine it being so freaking hard. So the reason why I chose Milan is because they, they teach you the old master's way from like a long time ago, you know? And I really wanted to learn. And that's exactly why I put myself in art school. But I'm not gonna lie to you, in the beginning, I had a very, very hard time. Um, my two paintings in the beginning were horrible. And I really questioned my self-worth and my talents because I, it was just horrible. So overworking myself, I did take a step back and I was just like, okay, I'm gonna go and enjoy nature and then go rethink my, recenter myself and just think about everything because I'm not gonna lie to you, I was feeling really overwhelmed and sad because, you know, it was really, really hard for me in the beginning to do oil painting. And also in the beginning as well, I was working on a mural, so I very much overworked myself a little too much. But taking some time in nature, I came back into my studio and um, I ended up trying again and I told myself not to give up. Um, another thing that helped me too was I like listening to um, Charles Bukowski and one of Charles Bukowski's famous words were, don't try. And that's exactly what I did. I was just overthinking it, stressing myself out, trying to be perfect which I shouldn't have done. And I just let myself just paint, not even trying. I was like, whatever happens, happens. And so that's when things got better. And then I got to learn portrait painting, which is really neat. I didn't even know this type of method of portrait painting, which is absolutely so cool because Milan Art Center shows you these different types of methods. And um, I have to say, this is actually the most fun and the most, like, it made me feel better when it comes to oil painting. And honestly, I thought this was one of my best paintings so far. Well, in art school so far, but it was really cool, it was neat. So I did get back into my routine and then I took, I had to take another step back because you know I didn't want to overwork myself again. And this time I made a trip to Utah. I went to Zion National Park. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely amazing. I'm so glad I did this for my birthday and I took my friends and it was just, it was mind blowing. And I felt so at peace. So this is actually one of the greatest times, one of the best birthdays. Well, cause last year it was COVID and stuff so I didn't do anything, but it, it was pretty cool. Now we're gonna get into still life. Honestly, still life was super fun i i loved it i actually really would love to do more still life paintings um there's this teapot that i've been eyeing at my grandma's house a lot and i really wanted to paint this teapot but at the same time i was terrified and frightened of this teapot because i didn't know if i could do it or if i could paint it or if i can even put the right shadows in to make it look a little bit more round more three not 3d but like to come out 
instead of being so flat. So that's what I was very, very worried about. And um, I absolutely loved it. I, I enjoyed this so much. Actually, it didn't take me as long. It maybe took me about two days to finish just because I was waiting for the oils to dry. But I mean, it was just felt like so me because it's the flowers, the color, the vibrant colors of it all. And it just felt like so, it felt like it, perf it like fit perfectly into my personality of this teapot. <laughs> I felt like it was just meant to be or something. But um, I loved it. It was fun. This is one of my favorite courses, well, technically favorite subject to do, and um, it's really neat. You know, I feel like I've been improving a lot. As I practice more and more every day and dig deeper into this course, it actually boosts my confidence a lot, and it felt like I just improved so much more just by taking this course. And I don't think I would have been able to do that by just teaching myself. So I did work on three still lifes, three paintings. I did only show two just because I didn't want to keep adding more to this video to make it too long um, just wanted to be simple and so I show my second still life here and then following after this still life we ended up I'm just gonna talk about it even though the video hasn't came up yet but just ahead of time we worked on a charcoal study and um, at first I hated charcoal because I was not good at it but you know, part of the course is you sketch charcoal and then also oil painting. So it goes hand in hand. I guess you become a better painter if you're really good at sketching. So that is like a, a main key when it comes to painting in oils. And um, when I did this charcoal, it was actually the academic way I was supposed to stop with just the drawing itself. But I felt like something was missing and it just, I wanted to add more like part of like, more like me, I guess you would say. So I thought of the idea of adding the gold leaf and I was honestly terrified of adding something new to it and it would ruin my drawing, but no, it, it absolutely looks so amazing and I'm glad that I added this because this felt like more like me and I really enjoyed it so much. But, um, oh yeah, and then I wanted to show you guys the horrible paintings that I did not finish in oils. But you know what? All you gotta do is improve and just keep believing in yourself. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks.